What is Bio to Mold and how can it make my design process faster? Bio to Mold combines multiple different commands into one process. It uses parametrics where it's smart. And you have faster revision control for the body and mold positions. So as you can see, we have a part in body position. We can use the body to mold command to put that into whatever position we want, selecting the solid as well as any inserts and additional wireframe. We can define our own work plane, use existing work planes as well. And as you can see, in whatever your mold position is, whether it's absolute or any other work planes, you can see how it creates that position. We can also apply a shrink value to this. So in the mold position, you'll see that shrink value automatically applied. We can set this to a uniform or non-uniform scale, and you can see how the sizes change as represented. We can also present a line or a cuboid for quick measurements of that shrink value, as well as draw a bounding box around this part too. Create as a solid, create as lines, and so on. So from here, we have our original part and we have our mold position part with the shrink added automatically. We can use simple commands such as translate or mirror where you can actually shift the part Once you have all your modified parts in the position you want, this is where Vizzy uses parametrics where it's smart. All of these parts have the same conditions. So for example, if you put this back into mold position or reset the scale of the part, you can see all of these parts will have that body to mold linking to it. So for example, if I select this part, I can change the shrink of the part. It updates everything within the models. So in situations where I'm given a new revision, I can simply move the mold part or move the body part to whatever position I want to do some comparisons. So in this example, we're going to use the mold to body. I could choose to move or copy this item, choosing the solid, choosing any inserts and wireframe. And what it does is it resets the scaling as well as retains the positioning of exactly where it was at. We can then also use that same part, the new part, and put it back into mold position. So as you can see, it puts that part in the mold position and any change that you see, you can do the comparison in mold position rather than body position. 